Okay, so there's the thing I need to say, and I don't want to say it because it's just going to get me in trouble, but I'm going to say it anyway because it's my channel and it's my life. I asked for help yesterday just to get myself a meal because it was raining and I couldn't go to the recycling center. That resulted in me being attacked and harassed all day long. And y'all believe that I'm worthless garbage if I can't make my food stance last all month? Just complete trash. I deserve to starve. The people who take my videos and use them make money off of them. So why is it okay for Adonis Paul and Original Owl and Hat Man to take in donations using my footage? But if once in a while I ask for $5 to get by, I'm a bad person. I need to get a job. Adonis Paul doesn't need to get a job though, does he? He can bring in your money using my footage. He can make a three hour video where he mocks and belittles and tells me to kill myself. And you'll send him hundreds of dollars. But if I need a couple of dollars to survive, I may as well go ahead and kill myself because ain't nobody ever going to help me. And you'll come and make sure that I'm aware that nobody is going to help me. And that's the, that's the reality of the life that I'm living in. And I just want it understood that I can't ask for $5 for help without being accused of being a drug addict, of being an alcoholic, of being a scamming, manipulative liar. But Adonis Paul, he can hold these three-hour fundraisers and say whatever he wants and use that money for whatever he wants. And nobody is ever going to say anything negative about it. So here's something some of you might not know if you haven't been here for long. They have rules that I'm only allowed to do certain things. So when y'all tell me to you know, get a job, there's lots of jobs online you can do. Yes, there are. And they have all been blocked from me by Adonis Paul and his people. See, I used to write books. I've written and published two books. I'm not allowed to sell them anymore because the, the second one drops... One person buys it and then distributes it freely to everybody else to ensure that nobody else will buy a single copy of my book. That means unless I am pricing my book at $1,000 a copy, I'm not earning any money for my work because somebody else believes they deserve the profits from my writing. I'm also not allowed to have an OnlyFans. Are you allowed to have an OnlyFans as an adult? Because I'm not. I'm 37 years old and I'm not allowed to sell my body online the way that other women are allowed to do. Why? Not because of a jealous boyfriend. Because Adonis Paul will take the footage and give it away for free to make sure nobody else subscribes to my channel. And then he'll call me a whore. Isn't life fun? When y'all say that they don't do anything to hinder my actual life, you're ignoring the fact that they have taken away multiple opportunities I had to create money for myself. I could have had money selling my books if I was allowed to sell them. I could have money selling my tits if I was allowed to sell them. And they belong to me and it's legal, so why should I not be allowed? Oh, right, because a cyberbullying group online has taken over my life and decides what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. And the only thing they say I'm allowed to do is suffer and die. That's the life I have to live. Not because I chose it, because some people forced me into this cult-like cyberbullying situation that I'm not allowed to escape because I've tried. And you'll see people in the comments threatening if they get reported, if, if, if anybody reports their channel. Well, it'll get worse for you now. Because how dare you speak out and pretend to be a human being that has feelings.
and it's never going to stop. And that's what the walk for Bubba is supposed to be for, is to help stop these people. Not only have they stepped in front of every job opportunity I've had in the last two years, they continually make money themselves holding fundraisers to desecrate my younger brother's grave to hurt me because people pay them to hurt me. And the more hurt I am, the more money they make. Five times, a full handful now, Adonis Paul has held fundraisers to urinate on my brother's grave. One time somebody actually visited the grave. They're going to say in the comments, nobody visited the grave. One person did. It, it was my aunt with a bottle of apple juice. But she wasn't visiting the grave as his aunt. She was visiting as Adonis Paul's little puppet. Which is even more disgusting. And I just want people to fully understand the situation I'm in because it's bullshit. They make thousands of dollars using my footage. And I'm not even allowed to ask for five dollars at the end of the month to get myself a meal. Not allowed to write books. Not allowed to sell my tits. Not allowed to straight up ask. Also can't go to a soup kitchen because God help me if they found out I went to a soup kitchen.